flow, flow plan for you today. We are going to be doing a 30 minute energizing morning flow. So for when you're short on time but still wanna get a nice little workout in, this flow is for you. I am going to be using for this flow an essential oil blend by doTERRA. I know I'm a little far from the uh, camera, but this one is called Cheer and it's an uplifting blend. So we're energizing, we're uplifting, we're feeling motivated for the week ahead or the day ahead. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this oil on. I like to put it on my tummy and then rub it up towards my heart and then just a little bit on my neck and then I like to take whatever is left over and spread it right at my third eye space on my forehead. <sighs> this one is really nice. It's citrusy but it's also warm. Um, it has star anise in it and vanilla and cinnamon but still has notes of uh, citrus so it's a really nice blend recommend that if you're interested in essential oils and then I will go ahead and read our intention card for the day so I'm holding the intention to feel happy cheerful motivated excited about this weekend and excited about the coming week so We'll just see, you know, what card I pull. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. I think that that one sits really well with me today. I think it fits with what we're talking about in terms of feeling motivated, in alignment, feeling like you can accept the love that's coming your way from the universe. So we'll go ahead and use that to guide our practice. I'm going to set it up at the top of my mat. Won't need anything today. I'm sitting on my trusty cushion. I have a blanket for Shavasana. You can grab any additional props that you feel like you need and we will go ahead and start with our morning meditation. So we are going to begin with a breathing meditation. It's really simple. It's called box breath. So let's just go ahead and start by taking a deep inhale through the nose and a deep exhale through the nose. So we're just going to start with three breaths like that, just clearing anything out. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Last one in. Big breath out. Now for box breath, we breathe in for a count of four. Gently hold the breath in for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. And then hold the breath out for a count of four. So you're just going to repeat that breath at your own pace, however fast or slow you need your four count. Try to keep it nice and relaxed. So we breathe it in for four. Hold. Out for four. Hold, in, hold, out, in, hold, out. let you continue to do that box breath at your own pace. Give you the opportunity to really turn your attention inward, focus on the breath, and just have a few moments to yourself.
as we sit and breathe, be sure to periodically check back in with the body. Notice the alignment of the spine. If you're letting your head droop or your shoulders round or your jaw clench, just take the attention to different spots throughout your body. Adjust as needed. Just a few more breaths like this. Finishing up your box breath wherever you are. And then on your next inhale, taking your hands to heart center, let's go ahead and give the palms a nice rub. Build some heat for the practice that we're about to begin. Deep inhale. Gently holding the breath at the top, coming back to our intention. Cultivating feelings of happiness, motivation, true belief in ourselves and our capabilities. And exhale to let that go, releasing the palms down. Let's start with just a few shoulder rolls, inhaling the shoulders up towards the ears, exhaling them down and away. Keeping the eyes closed if that feels good for you. And then switching directions, taking the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhaling as they roll forward. Let's inhale the ears straight up towards, or sorry, inhale the shoulders straight up towards the ears. And then exhale, release them down. I really want you to feel the shoulder blades moving along the back along the rib cage. Good, relaxing the shoulders, gentle twist, taking the left hand to the outside of the right knee, inhaling to sit up nice and tall, and then exhaling to gently twist, looking back over the shoulder. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhaling to lengthen once more. Exhaling to twist. Gently releasing, taking the right hand to the outside of the left knee. Same thing on the other side. Inhaling and exhaling. In and out. Last one in. Long breath, twisting a tiny bit deeper. Gently releasing, coming back to center. And then if you're sitting on something, moving it out of the way. Coming on to hands and knees for cat cow. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. Exhale, rounding the spine for cat. Inhaling for cow, exhaling for cat. We're going to be here for a minute. We want to start nice and slow as we warm up the spine, but I want to encourage you to start to speed up this movement if it feels good and take big, powerful breaths. So we're building heat. We have a shorter practice today, so we definitely want to make it worthwhile.
can do it. One breath, one movement. Big inhale, dropping into cow, holding the breath. Exhaling for cat, pressing all the breath out, drawing the navel in towards the spine, rounding through the back, chin is tucked, hold. Inhale, coming back to a neutral spine, tucking the toes, and then pressing up and back for our first downward facing dog. Nice big bend in the knees to start, send the hips nice and high, and then we'll just gently pedal out the legs one at a time. Inhale, looking up towards the fingertips, coming up onto the toes, lots of little steps, coming up to the top of the mat in the forward fold. Grabbing either elbow, hanging heavy here, you can gently rock from side to side. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. Big inhale, and then on the exhale, let the hands drop heavy. And then on your next inhale, we're going to slowly, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, all the way to the top. Good. And then I'm just gonna turn to face you. We're gonna inhale, arms reach up high for the sky, and then exhale, cactus arms, just like this. Slowly pulling the elbows down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Really feeling those shoulders. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Good, let's do that one more time. Reach, and then cactus, but then we're slowly gonna start to bend the knees. Hinge at the hips, reaching down for forward fold. Stepping the right foot back into a lunge. And then stepping the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward to plank. Slowly lowering down onto the knees. Exhaling as we come into our first chaturanga. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale for downward facing dog. Inhale, step that right foot up to the top of the mat, lunging on the other side. And then the left foot is going to step up to meet the right. Inhale, reach nice and tall. Exhale, cactus arms. Bending the knees, starting to hinge at the hips. Reaching down for forward fold. Right foot steps back, high lunge. Left foot steps back, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward into high plank. Lowering onto the knees if you need to. Otherwise, shifting the weight forward. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra, whatever feels good. Exhale for downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping that right foot up to the top of the mat, lunging on the other side. Next inhale, step that left foot up to meet the right. Slowly rise, fingertips reach for the sky. Exhale, cactus arms bending through the knees. Hinging at the hips, forward fold. Planting the hands, stepping that left foot back, lunge. Stepping the right foot back, downward facing dog. Step that left foot up, lunging on the other side. And left foot back. Right foot up, lunge. Right foot back. Left foot up. We're just doing lunges here now, left foot back, warming up through the hips, right foot, and then left foot. If it's hard for you to float your foot up and through to the top of the mat, grab some yoga blocks, place your hands on blocks, just make more space for your body to move. Good, this time let's come forward, high plank, shift the weight forward, slowly lower, chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale for down dog. 
holding in downward facing dog for just a couple of breaths. Should be nice and warm now. Inhale, looking up to the top of the mat, walking or hopping up to the top, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise, fingertips reach for the sky. Then we're gonna grab the right uh, wrist with the left hand. And then we're gonna inhale. And then as we exhale, nice big side bend, just like so. Inhaling up to center, swapping, grabbing the left wrist with the right hand, and then pulling our body gently off to the other side. Inhale, coming up. Let's do that one more time. Exhale. Big side stretch here. Inhale up. Exhale, stretch. Good. Waking up every muscle, getting a nice big stretch here. Inhale up to center. Exhale, slowly diving for the floor. Planting the hands, stepping or hopping back into plank. Shifting the weight forward and taking our vinyasa, moving through to chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale for down dog. We're going to work the arms now. So I'm in a downward facing dog. What I'd like you to do is shift the weight forward, coming into a plank, and then reach that left knee towards the left elbow, bending the arms if you can in a little push up, like a Spider Man push up. Back to down dog and then to the other side. Bending the elbows, reaching the knee to the outside of the elbow. If it's super hard for you to do this, don't bend the elbows, just take the knee to the elbow. Good, so that's four, five, six, slow and controlled, seven, Eight, last one, pressing up and back, downward facing dog. Let's take those feet as wide as the mat and then slowly walk the hands up to meet the feet at the back of the mat. Just a little wide-legged forward bend here. Our legs aren't super wide, getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Big inhale and then let's exhale, take both hands over to the right foot or the right calf. If you can't quite reach, that's fine too. And then gently take your hands over to the other side, to the left foot. Nice big stretch. Coming back to center, we're gonna take the hands to the sacrum, the low back, interlace the fingers, big inhale, and then exhale, letting those hands drop forward. Nice stretch through the shoulders. If you're feeling a really big stretch in your hamstrings, you can gently bend the knees here. We wanna be hinging at the hips with a nice straight spine. Don't wanna be too rounded. Two more breaths, you can gently shake the head yes, shake the head no, last inhale, long exhale, release the hands back down to the low back, let them slowly move all the way down the legs to the feet, heels are going to come in, toes are going to come out, and we're going to lower down into a nice little yogi squat just like this. If you need a block, you can place a block underneath your bum, otherwise Elbows are going to come to the insides of the knees. We press the palms together and then we sit up nice and tall, just like this. The crown of the head is reaching upwards. I'm using my elbows to help open my groin and my hips. But I'm still active, still engaging the glutes, still engaging all the muscles of my back and my abdomen. Then we're going to take this straight into crow pose. 
Big inhale, exhaling to plant the hands. Nice wide fingers here. Okay, my knees are coming to the outside of my elbows. Slowly start to shift my weight into my hands. Forward, forward, and then gently lift the toes. So you can start nice and wide like I am here. You can use blocks. I have a crow tutorial video, so check that out if you need extra help. If you're more advanced in your crow practice, rather than being really, really wide with the knees, we're gonna start to take them up towards the elbows, or sorry, up towards the armpits. Taking the weight forward, and then gently lifting. Toes come together. Gently release, good. Let's take the knees as wide as comfortable. Settle into a little child's pose. Taking a quick break. On your next inhale, gently pressing into the palms, gently pressing your way back up to seated. We're gonna do one more little drill to help strengthen the abdomen and the arms for arm balances like that. So bringing the knees back to hip distance, planting the hands, tucking the toes, shifting the hips up and back. So a similar drill like we were doing before, except for this time, we're gonna keep the legs straight we're going to go from our downward facing dog. You really want to think about sucking that hip joint up, up, up into the body, pulling it in towards your core, lifting that hip and reaching the toes up towards the right hand. And then we'll do it on the left side. So I think about lifting, pulling that hip socket in and then touching my left toes towards my left wrist. It's okay if you can't make it all the way. Up, 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 shifting the weight forward and back. Good. That's four. We're going to do this eight times. Five. Six. And it is okay to just gently round through the upper back here. It's a good prep for handstand. Getting used to shifting the weight forward over the hands. Good. If you want an extra little workout or in downward facing dog, you can take another vinyasa, add a push up if you'd like. This is your morning flow. You bring as much energy into it as you want. Get a nice little workout before starting the day. Good. Let's inhale, reach that right heel up towards the ceiling. Exhale, take the right knee towards the right wrist, coming down into pigeon. We inhale, sit up nice and tall to start out with, and then exhale to gently walk the hands down over the leg. I like to make a little triangles with my fingers and relax gently here. your next inhale, pressing into the palms, pressing back up, tucking the toes of the left foot, 
Gently lifting the hips, taking that right foot back to meet the left, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting that left heel nice and high for the sky. And then left knee to left elbow, left knee to left wrist as we lower down into our pigeon on the other side. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall, working on some core and glute engagement, and then gently relaxing. Next inhale, gently pressing into the palms, pressing our way back up. This time we're just going to lean over that left glute, take the right leg around, coming up to seated. If you have a blanket, grab your blanket now. You want to be as warm, as comfortable as possible coming into our final Shavasana. Even if you're warm from the workout, you'll start to cool down. So taking that blanket over you, slowly lowering down, one vertebrae at a time, covering the feet. Getting nice and cozy here, taking up some space on your mat. Palms are ideally face up. You can place a pillow or blanket underneath the knees if there's pressure in the low back. Breathing deeply, feeling the belly rise and fall. Closing out our practice with this deep, restorative Shavasana. And you can stay here as long as you'd like. 